What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to the very quick Ableton tutorial. Um, this one's on saving and working with your Ableton Live packs. So I've got this track that I've uh, put together for a couple tutorials. Let's go ahead and listen real quick. So that's cool, and I want to save this as an Ableton Live Pack so my homie can remix it. Um, if you come over to this side of the screen and you notice that my pointer turns into like an arrow, you can drag this open and come and pull open the File Manager. And if you come in here to uh, Live Set Launch to Project Dubstep, Manage Project, you click that and it will read it and it will tell you about what's going on in your project. Um, if you haven't already, first thing you need to do on a side note is collect all and save. I've already done that, and now I want to make an Ableton Live Pack. So um, make sure it says missing files. There are no missing files. That's good. And then come down here and create Live Pack. And if you want to know more about it, you hit Tell Me More, and it will give you some information. But the most important thing is, is down here. It says live packs use live, uh, lossless compression to minimize their size. It can be reduced by as much as 50% without altering your material. That's huge. Okay, so come back and hit create live pack. Find the spot right there on the desktop is good. Hit OK. It's going to go ahead and do that. Da, 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 da. And it was, says it was created successfully. Hit OK. And let's go check out. So I've got um, the project file properties and we're looking at 27 megabytes let's see what we got in the Ableton Live Pack 13 megabytes you see how much has shrunk that that's huge if you're going to be uh, sharing your files through the internet uh, anyway I hope that helped and uh, we'll see you next time